Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cleaning Excel Data Series. A bunch of simple tutorials that we have been doing to update a data table into something a lot more presentable using some Excel tips and tricks. So in this lesson five, we are going to update the table using formatting cells and change a particular column into uppercase. Really handy tricks. So if you like what you see, don't forget to click the like button or subscribe. There are a whole bunch more tutorials in this series and also on the channel you'll find some other Excel tips and tricks that might help you along the way. So the first thing we want to do is to change some formats of cells to make it make a lot more sense in the table. Uh, in column H you can see that within this, uh, the sales of these, these motor vehicles you've got the value on the right hand side. Probably makes more sense to put this as a currency um, and, and make the table a lot more cleaner. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll highlight the column with the currency. Under the ribbon you can see that it's currently set at a, at a general within the number section of the ribbon. And the most commonly used uh, formatting types are already available. We can see the dollar sign there. So we simply want to use the accounting number format, which is the dollar sign. By clicking that, and if we just expand the cell slightly by dragging the cell name over, you can see now we have the, uh, the dollar amounts. Um, a lot of instances we don't necessarily care about the decimal points or the cents. So what we'll do is go back up to the ribbon and you can see this decimal cents mover. And you can make it bigger or smaller. In this instance you want to remove the cents and there you go we've now formatted the value column uh, into dollars so the second example is a little bit more complex um, we've got dates here uh, in this instance we don't necessarily want to see the exact date we just want to see month and year um, so what we can do is we can highlight the date row or the date column go back up to the ribbon and under where it says general, which is the current setting of the format, we can change the options. There's a, a number of pre-selected options here. We can select it to long date. And it's again given the exact dates, um, but in words, not just numbers, not quite what we we're looking for. So we'll go back. And if it's not in those pre-selected options, I'm going to go down to more number formats. And this is where there are a huge amount of selections you can choose from. In this instance, I want to select date. And it gives you a couple of pre-populated examples of what it could look like. Again, I don't really want to see everything um, with the exact date. So another option you can actually do, if it's not available, is going to custom. I'm going to go to custom. And I'm going to change it based on putting the, uh, the prefix of what it should be. This time I only want to see month and year, so I'm going to highlight over type and I'm going to change it to a three letter month, just the first three letters of the month and the, uh, the last two numbers of year and press OK. And now you can see I've done a custom formatting of the date just to have the month and the year. A little bit more complex, but you might find yourself having this example or this particular type of reason you need to change the the formatting to a, a specific or a custom a custom format. The second part of the lesson is to change a, a particular cell into uppercase. In this instance, what we're going to do is change an entire column to uppercase, and we're going to do that to column D, which is the last name. So. To do this, we're going to use a formula and going to add a column. So we're going to click into column E, right click and insert. That adds a new column. And we'll type in the heading of the column. Last name again. 
and what we'll do here is use a formula equals very simple formula upper click into the cell that you want to reference close the brackets and it's now changed the last name into uppercase cell I'm going to copy this down the entire column by double clicking in the bottom right and now each of the last names have been updated to capital letters. We'll simply hide column D by selecting the column, right clicking and hiding the old last name column. Very simple, we have now changed the format of the salesperson's last name into uppercase. Handy trick, very simple, and we can go from there. Rightio, well that is uh, lesson number five. Don't forget that we have a bunch of other lessons within this Cleaning Excel data series. Please uh, go and check them out. Thank you.